Welcome to our Learn EB-5 video. The purpose of this video is to provide valuable summarized information about the EB-5 visa program to U.S. project developers and sponsors seeking EB-5 investment capital. The information includes the rule changes that came into effect on November 21, 2019. Since we discuss many topics and so that you can easily jump to specific sections, the video is organized into the following 10 sections. 1. Who is EB-5 Affiliate Network? 2. What is the EB-5 program? 3. How the EB-5 program works. 4. Why is EB-5 popular with project developers and investors? 5. Structuring an EB-5 project. 6. Role of EB-5 regional centers. 7. Create or affiliate with an EB-5 regional center. 8. Complete EB-5 project documentation. 9. EB-5 investors. 10. Conclusion and additional resources. 1. Who is EB-5 Affiliate Network? This video is presented by EB-5 Affiliate Network, one of the largest, fastest growing EB-5 companies in the United States. As the owner and operator of 15 approved regional centers with a geographic coverage area of 27 states, we provide best-in-class services across all aspects of the EB-5 program, from project structuring to documentation. EB-5 Affiliate Network has been recognized by industry peers as one of the most innovative EB-5 companies in America. Out of more than 800 regional centers, we are the only owner and operator selected as a Medallion Solution Partner by NES Financial, the leading third-party financial services provider in the EB-5 industry. This NES Financial Partnership is a result of our leadership in the increasingly important area of EB-5 Regional Center Compliance. In this video, we explain how the EB-5 program works, how most EB-5 projects are structured, and why the program is attractive for project sponsors, developers, and foreign investors. 2. What is the EB-5 program? First, let's begin with the history of the EB-5 visa program and how it is administered today by the U.S. government. Congress enacted the EB-5 program in 1990 to stimulate the U.S. economy through job creation and capital investment by foreign investors. In 1992, Congress enacted the Regional Center Pilot Program, also known as the EB-5 Immigrant Investor Regional Center Program. This temporary pilot program is renewed every year. It allows investors to qualify for EB-5 visas by investing through regional centers designated and approved by United States Citizenship and Immigration Services, or USCIS, based on proposals for promoting economic growth. The EB-5 program is a federal program administered by USCIS, which is a division of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Since its inception, the EB-5 program has expanded significantly. It is now the most popular visa category for foreign investors seeking expedited permanent residency. The program provides a direct method of obtaining a permanent residence card, commonly referred to as a green card, for foreign nationals who invest money in the United States, stimulate the U.S. economy, and directly create new jobs. 3. How the EB-5 program works to obtain conditional permanent residence through the EB-5 program, a foreign investor must invest money in a new job-creating enterprise or EB-5 project in the United States that creates at least 10 new full-time jobs. The money must remain at risk during the investment period until the investor completes the immigration process and the investor's green card becomes permanent. For this to happen, the 10 newly created jobs must exist for at least two years and detailed records must be kept verifying that this job creation has occurred. The minimum investment amount varies depending on the location of the EB-5 project. If the project is located in a targeted employment area, or TEA, then the minimum investment amount is $900,000. If, however, the project is not located in a TEA, the minimum investment amount is $1.8 million. A TEA is a USCIS designated rural area or area with high unemployment that will benefit from the economic growth fostered by foreign investment. An area qualifies as a high unemployment TEA if the average unemployment rate is at least 50% greater than the national average. To determine whether a specific area qualifies as a TEA, please visit our free national TEA map at eb5an.com. Four. Why is EB-5 popular with project developers and investors? For developers, 
the EB-5 program presents a rare opportunity to access below market investment capital for job creating enterprises. It also makes projects possible that would otherwise be difficult to finance. But what makes EB-5 capital an attractive financing option? Foreign nationals are interested in EB-5 projects to obtain green cards. Thus, most investors are willing to accept a lower financial rate of return on their investment in exchange. The lower cost of EB-5 capital, therefore, makes EB-5 financing an attractive alternative financing option. Everyone wins. Investors, project sponsors, and the public benefit from the below-market overseas capital funding EB-5 projects that create new jobs here in the United States. 5. Structuring an EB-5 Project So now that you know a little about EB-5 and why it is a popular financing option, the next important question to answer is, how are most EB-5 projects structured? EB-5 investment projects are structured in two ways, as direct investments and as regional center investments. Since the vast majority of EB-5 projects are structured as regional center investments, that's what we'll focus on in this video. An EB-5 regional center project success depends largely on three factors. One, sponsorship by a USCIS approved regional center. Two, a complete set of EB-5 compliant, project specific offering documents. And three, eligible EB-5 investors. We'll discuss each of these elements next. Six, the role of EB-5 regional centers. EB-5 Regional Center designation is a USCIS license that allows the holder to sponsor EB-5 projects within a specific, approved geographic coverage area. Most EB-5 projects are structured as regional center investments because of the favorable treatment of job creation for projects sponsored by approved regional centers. An EB-5 project sponsored by a regional center is allowed to count the direct, indirect, and induced jobs that result from the development of the EB-5 project and the expenditure of EB-5 investment capital within the investment region. For example, if the EB-5 project is an investment to develop a new hotel, the capital expenditures on the construction of the building and the operating revenues once the hotel is open both count toward the project's EB-5 eligible job creation. Job creation is usually calculated using official economic impact multipliers, such as RIMS2 or M-Plan which forecasts the economic impact of expenditures and revenue creation by industry category. Multipliers allow an economist to estimate the full impact of certain expenditures and revenues by including all direct, indirect, and induced jobs that occur due to the project. For example, imagine a hotel project in Miami, Florida, in which the total hard construction cost is $25 million and land cost $20 million. The construction will create many jobs, not just for the workers on site, but also for all those employed by suppliers, transportation companies, and various other businesses that make the construction on the project site possible. Assume the RIMS2 multiplier for hard construction spend in Miami-Dade County is eight jobs for every $1 million spent. This multiplier includes all direct and indirect jobs from the construction of the project. Given these figures, we can estimate the project will create 200 EB-5 eligible jobs assuming the project stays on budget and spends $25 million on hard construction costs and $20 million on land cost. This same framework is applied for hotel revenues once hotel operations have stabilized. For verification of projected job creation, the regional center provides receipts and invoices, which must show USCIS that the projected expenditures actually took place so that each investor is credited with his or her 10 required jobs. Favorable job calculation and easier tracking and documentation are the main reasons most EB-5 projects are structured as regional center projects. To instantly estimate EB-5 job creation for any potential EB-5 project, please visit our free EB-5 job calculator at eb5an.com. 7. Create or affiliate with an EB-5 regional center. Two options exist when structuring an EB-5 regional center project. First, the project developer can apply for its own regional center designation, allowing it to sponsor projects. Second, a project developer can affiliate with an existing regional center. Each approach has its pros and cons. For setting up a new regional center, the pros are that the developer owns the license outright and can sponsor an unlimited number of EB-5 projects within the approved geographic area. The main downsides are higher upfront cost and long USCIS processing times for regional center approval with no guaranteed outcome. 
For project sponsors that want complete control of the EB-5 process and have a long-term pipeline of projects, starting a regional center could be a good choice. The benefits of affiliating with an existing EB-5 regional center include an expedited EB-5 fundraising timeline, lower upfront costs, and the benefit of working with an experienced and professional EB-5 regional center operator who can provide guidance through the EB-5 process. The cons are that, normally, the project developer must affiliate with the regional center separately for each EB-5 project it pursues. Also, the total costs are likely to be higher in the long term compared to setting up a new regional center. 8. Complete EB-5 Project Documentation The second major component of an EB-5 regional center project is the complete set of EB-5 project-specific documents. These include the project's EB-5 Matter of Ho Compliant Business Plan, Economic Impact or Job Creation Report, Private Placement Memorandum or PPM, Loan Agreement or Stock Purchase Agreement, and the new Commercial Enterprise Entity and Manager Documentation. Let's consider once more our hypothetical hotel project in Miami, Florida, with hard construction costs of $25 million and land cost of $20 million. Let's say the project is to develop a new Marriott Hotel in downtown Miami. The first document is the EB-5 Matter of Ho Compliant Business Plan. The business plan explains exactly how the proposed investment meets the criteria of the EB-5 program. It also demonstrates how EB-5 investments will remain at risk and create the required 10 jobs per investor. The second document is the Economic Impact Report, which shows how the project's capital expenditures, in this case construction costs, and projected operating revenues will create a sufficient number of EB-5 jobs for the investors. We've already calculated that this project would create 200 jobs, so it can support a maximum of 20 EB-5 investors. 200 divided by 10 equals 20. Looking at this from a different perspective, the project, which costs a total of $45 million, can take on a maximum of $18 million of EB-5 investment capital if it is located in a TEA, or $36 million if it is not in a TEA. If the project chooses to raise less than the maximum amount of EB-5 investment capital with fewer investors, then there would be a job surplus, and each EB-5 investor would be allocated more than the required 10 jobs per EB-5 investor. For example, if the project site was in a TEA and only 10 EB-5 investors joined the project, then each EB-5 investor would be assigned 20 EB-5 eligible jobs. 200 total project jobs divided by 10 EB-5 investors equals 20 jobs per investor. Projects with a job cushion, with more jobs assigned to each EB-5 investor than the minimum 10 required jobs, have lower immigration risk for EB-5 investors. The next document is the Private Placement Memorandum, or PPM. This is a disclosure document to potential investors summarizing the EB-5 transaction, the terms of the investment, the risks associated with the investment, and key information regarding the management and control of the EB-5 investment funds. Many projects use a partnership structure for the New Commercial Enterprise, or NCE. Therefore, if the project is in a TEA and decides to raise only $9 million in EB-5 capital, a new limited partnership will be formed. In our example, let's call the limited partnership EB-5 Hotel Fund Miami. It will have 10 limited partners, each an EB-5 investor, and one general partner or manager of the fund. Each EB-5 investor subscribes as a limited partner to the fund and invests $900,000 plus any administrative fee which is determined by the general partner. Then, once the EB-5 accumulates a certain amount of EB-5 capital, it makes a loan to or equity investment in the Job Creating Enterprise, or JCE. The JCE is typically the entity that owns the land and is also the entity responsible for the construction and development of the project. At the end of the investment period, the JCE repays the loan to the EB-5 fund, which then returns the investment capital and any accumulated returns to investors. Or, in the case of an equity investment, the investors can choose to sell or retain their individual stakes in the JCE. 9. EB-5 Investor Requirements The final component of an EB-5 regional center investment is finding the desired number of EB-5 investors. To be eligible for the EB-5 program, an investor must be a foreign national who meets the immigration requirements determined by USCIS. For the purposes of the EB-5 program, an EB-5 investor is defined as up to an entire family unit, 
Therefore, an entire family, husband, wife, and children under age 21 at the time of application will be considered a single EB-5 investor. Consequently, only one required investment is needed, no matter how many members of the family are applying for green cards. EB-5 investments must comprise legally obtained funds, and investors must submit a documented source of funds accounting that shows the lawful source of the required capital. Many EB-5 investors receive capital gifts from parents and relatives, which they use for EB-5 investment. This is allowed, provided investors can provide proper documentation of where these funds originated. It is important for an investor to consult an immigration attorney regarding these and other requirements under the EB-5 program. 10. Conclusion and Additional Resources Thank you for your attention. I hope this has helped you gain a better understanding of the EB-5 program. To learn more about the EB-5 process, please visit eb5an.com, where you can also set up a time to talk to a member of our team about your individual needs. We also offer several useful EB-5 tools and resources. To check whether your project falls within a high unemployment TEA, check our national TEA map. Use our free EB-5 job creation calculator to instantly calculate the number of EB-5 eligible jobs your project will create. Before choosing an EB-5 project to invest in, be sure to review our EB-5 investment guide. For a detailed look at all aspects of the EB-5 program, download and read the official EB-5AN EB-5 guidebook. To simplify the due diligence process when assessing potential EB-5 investment projects, use our EB-5 Project Risk Investment Questionnaire. Learn about the services we provide through the EB-5AN Service Offering Summary. Finally, consult our EB-5 Regional Centers Database Tool to search for regional center coverage in your area. We look forward to hearing from you.